Hey YouTubers, I apologize for you not seeing me this morning as I'm doing this video, but I am not awake and I don't look too good when I'm not awake, so. Um, this is a follow-up video for one that I did last night. This is um, the conclusion of the rental property that somebody was trying to rent me that did not exist and they had no rights to rent it to begin with. Um, I just talked to somebody in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. This was a realtor from there and they are the ones that are handling this property. They are the legitimate people. And they did tell me this right now that they do not rent properties, they only sell them. So they did recommend that I do report this to my local police department and let them know the person's name and any contact information that I do have for that person so they can try to locate where they are and possibly put an end to this because they basically said bluntly that it's good that I said something to them because it they, the person was out and out trying to scam me and um, it was just good that I asked questions that way I know for sure what is going on and everything so yeah this definitely was not something that was legitimate at all because they had asked me also when I called them um, if I had seen this on Craigslist and I said yes and they're like, well, we've had this, I guess this has happened more than once. Somebody has actually called the realtor's office because they had found out the person claiming that they owned the property was actually lying. And um, they wanted more info about it. So, yeah. Just a wonderful world we live in in this day and age. You know, I don't think... 20 or even 30 years ago we had such people that did these type of things it wasn't like heard of as often if you know what I'm saying you know people trying to scam you out of your money and everything and take the easy way out in life and you know not work a legitimate job and all that stuff I just find that really sad that somebody would do that you know after the fact, when I told the person, because I was honest, and told them that me and my husband were both on, you know, disability, that I was on regular SSI and that my husband was on SSDI, he actually wanted to sucker us and take all of our money. That's just not right. You know, how would, how would anyone else feel if they, if they lost all their money? that they were putting into a property that they just couldn't live in because the person didn't own the dang thing. <sighs> yeah. This is, like, very frustrating to me still because, you know, yes, I'm looking into moving and everything, but now I'm starting to realize that you have to be, like, more cautious when you answer ads, especially ads that sound too good to be true on Craigslist, be, I know, I know better now, be more careful about who you talk to and who you don't when it comes to renting, you know, places, because those type of people do exist that will take your money and be happy about it and will laugh at you when you are homeless because they took your money and you can't do anything about it for like 30 days. So yeah, not, not, not a good thing at all for people to do that but they don't seem to care so what can I say <laughs> well anyway um, that's pretty much all I'm gonna say about this um, I am going to contact probably the Reading Police Department at some time today and give them the information that I do have on this individual that tried to do this to me I don't know if they'll be able to catch the person or not but they can at least have a report on file that way if the person does it again they can start to build a case against the person you know I don't want them to get away with this because you know what if somebody else contacts them 
and actually believes them, you know? I would feel so bad if somebody got suckered, got taken for a fool, you know? Um, anyway, um, if you have not subscribed to my videos, please, please feel free to do so. Um, hit that subscribe button, like my videos, comment if you wish. Um, I am doing a giveaway right now. You can find that video in my, in my past videos about what I'm giving away. I will put the giveaway, uh, snail mail address in the description. If you want to enter the giveaway, you must send me mail of some sorts. It doesn't have to be anything big. Just a note saying hi would suffice. So, anyway guys, I'm gonna get out of here. I'm gonna have some coffee and I'm gonna get my day going. So, everybody take care. God bless. Stay safe out there. And one thing I'm keeping in mind, if it sounds too good to be true, it most likely is.